Justin Bryan, Southwest Regional Wildlife Biologist for Cabela's, and welcome to Cabela's Wildlife and Land Management Web Show. And welcome to really heaven on earth. We're in uh, South Texas today, and we're experiencing probably one of the best springs we've had at least in the last five years, if not the best 10 years. And as you can tell right now, we're all different colors of green, which is great. We're producing a lot of forage, we're producing a lot of grass, which is exceptionally beneficial for deer forage, deer food, uh, fawn hiding cover. It's really great for the quail. You can hear in the background, we've got quail calling all over the place. And they're looking to pair up, they're looking to nest, and they're looking to, uh, to raise a lot of young. Hopefully, if we continue to have these really cool temperatures with this uh, abundance of rainfall, these quail may nest two or three times throughout the year, just depending on the, how the conditions exist. But right now, it's looking to be a bumper quail year. And with us being in this rainfall pattern, which looks like it's gonna stick for a while, which we're greatly appreciative of, we wanna put out a couple of water guzzlers today. And the point of the water guzzlers, especially here in Southwest Texas, is to capture that rainfall and to be able to use it over an extended period of time to provide it to the wildlife. I mean, we have a few ponds, we have a few tanks, but they don't hold water throughout the year. With a guzzler system, we can get them up, we can put them in remote locations within this property that doesn't have water throughout the year, and we can mount to make that accessible to the wildlife in that area. So it gives those wildlife just a little bit of an easier life to have. Now before we get this project started, let's check with Rans Thomas in the southeast and see what projects he's working on today. We're back here in South Carolina at the NWTF Hunting Heritage Center and Outdoor Education Center. Uh, it's spring, we're, we're still doing more uh, perennial food plot management. Uh, I'm out here today to accomplish a few things. One is to spray a liquid fertilizer on our clover to stimulate it and increase its, its spring and early summer growth, get more out of it for our wildlife. The other is a part of my team's job at Cabela's, which is product testing and development, especially testing new products which we target and may want to bring to the market. Cabela's will soon be releasing online and in its stores the new Cabela's Food Plot Enhancer. It is a liquid fertilizer, concentrated fertilizer rated at a 452 for NPK, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Now the unique thing about this liquid fertilizer is it is taken in by the plant leaves not the plant roots. What makes that really ideal is you, you get a quicker response, a quicker uh, positive response from the plants that you apply this product to in that they're taking it straight into the plant system through the leaves. The other is you can bypass some really poor co soil quality issues that cause nutrients to become bound up in the, in the soil to where plants cannot even take them up. Here in the southeast where we deal with low pH if you uh, quite often and if you joined us for one of our shows just a few weeks ago we were out here at NWTF spreading lime, ag lime. That is to raise the pH. Well ag lime takes a lot of work to get out. It takes time for it to raise the pH. In that time with low pH the plant roots can't draw nutrients up out of the soil and optimize their yield. This product literally bypasses that by not being taken in by the roots. So even in lower pH soils, although you do want to correct them, I can apply this fertilizer and get a, a more immediate response and a better response because it's taken in by the plant leaves. Even again, one last final positive to this system is with the case of, of legumes, perennial legumes like uh, clover, uh, alfalfa, that are fixing nitrogen in the soil. If you use a granular fertilizer or a high nitrogen liquid fertilizer that goes into the soil, you can literally over uh, do it with nitrogen and burn the root system and cause that nitrogen fixation that's natural for that plant to stop. And that's not what we want to do uh, with our, our nitrogen fixers. We want them to create that nitrogen in the soil. This, all, this nitrogen uh, in this product does not go into the soil. It goes straight into the plant leaves. It's not going to burn those root systems. And it will, it will really increase the, the yield, the growth, the health, the vigor of your food plots, you will notice a, a difference in just a few weeks. Now, in fact, this product is so new to Cabela's uh, that our branded uh, Cabela's food plot enhancer uh, bottles and jugs are headed out to stores, but they're, I could not even get my hands on one, and it's time now to, to, uh, to spray liquid fertilizer on this clover. So what I'm using today is what's left of the product that myself and my team were sent in the product testing and development phase of this, uh, of bringing this product to the market. So luckily I have enough, uh, I have a gallon left. That will do two acres. That's what we're using here today. I'm gonna be applying the recommended two quarts to an acre I'm using our SMV uh, boom sprayer. I'll be, uh, if you were with us uh, a few weeks ago, again, uh, spraying post-emergent grass selective herbicide on these clover plots, you saw how we calibrated this sprayer. I'm going four miles an hour. 
I'm at 50 PSI, I'm putting out roughly 15, 16 gallons to the acre. So 30 gallons of water with a gallon of this uh, food plot enhancer, and I can apply enough food plot enhancer on this clover for two acres. In our partnership with NWTF, we're here often, our equipment, our tractors and our equipment is here all the time being used for all sorts of projects. There's a few projects and project areas that we're keying in on and targeting somewhat, if you will, the column, the Cabela's WLM project sites. There's two or three food plots here that we're really focused on that we're gonna to continue to come back to and so that you, the viewer, can continue to watch the progress and what we do at the different phases of the season. I've set up for two acres worth to spray today. I've got uh, 30 gallons of water and I've got my uh, full gallon of food plot enhancer. So this will take not quite the full tank. And uh, what I'll probably do with the rest of what I've mixed up here today is on the way out, I'm gonna look for some blackberry maybe some honeysuckle, something really good that native habitat wise that this, this agent will also improve and help by spraying it and spray that on the way out. So let me get these booms down and get my sprayer set up and ready to go and I'm gonna spray this field. Instead of leaving that in the tank, on my way back, I found a couple of sites along the road here where I found some blackberry, some uh, muscadine, and some native warm season grasses. And I can actually use the food plot enhancer to increase the growth of, of native habitat in the same way. So I've been spot spraying a few of these selected sites as I'm heading back towards the shop. So if you're managing food plots, if you're trying to enhance native browse, honeysuckle, uh, whatever the case may be in your region, and you're looking for a easy, affordable liquid fertilizer product. Cabela's has it and it's coming soon. Keep an eye out for us online at cabelas.com forward slash WLM, at cabelas.com and of course your local Cabela's retail store. Man, I really just can't explain how fantastic this weather is. It's been overcast all morning. It's really humid, but in South Texas, we'll take humid because with humid comes a lot of rain. And it's just an amazing time to be in South Texas with all the rainfall. And it really beats the last four years, like I said, where we had extreme drought, lots of dust, everything was cracking and it was not, uh, not a fun place to be at all. So we're at our location where we wanna put up the water guzzler system. And it's a really nice location. We actually have a feeder pen already built and we're gonna put the guzzler inside the feeder pen. And the reason for that is, being as it is in Texas, we have livestock, and that being cattle. And if we put the guzzler out here with the water pen out here, the cows will try to take a bath in the water pen, they'll rub up against the guzzler, they'll knock it over, they'll trample it, they'll turn it into a soccer ball. And that's just cows being cows. So we're gonna put it inside the pen, keep it safe so the deer can get to it, the quail can get to it, the turkey can get to it, it'll serve its purpose. Okay, at this point, we've got the legs on our roof system, which obviously the rainfall hit the roof, run down to the gutter, We'll put in a PV system to PVC system to connect up to the water storage tank and then finally connect up an actual drinking bowl and flotation device which the wildlife can access. So at this point we're just a matter of putting a few small details together and getting it done. So now once we do get sufficient rainfall to fill up the tank, obviously water's gonna flow down the hose. It'll fill up this water bowl for wildlife to drink out of. There is a flotation device within there that'll shut the flow of water off once it fills up to about midway level and then conserve that water as the wildlife drink it down, the flow to go down, refill this bowl back up. So this was a really pretty nifty system here. You got the basic roof system. Water flows down the roof, hits the gutter. It's captured in the water storage tank comes down the water hose, fills up the bowl, and it's just a great way to capture the rainfall we do get out throughout the summer here in Southwest Texas, which generally isn't much, this year's an exception, but to capture it and make it available to wildlife for June, July, August, and those months that generally turn off to be pretty dry. And uh, you know, this system that's made by Plateau Land and Wildlife out of Dripping Springs, Texas, it's just a nice, easy way to put a lot of guzzlers throughout your property that may not have good water distribution or any water at all, 
as you can tell from the video, it didn't take long for us to put it together. It didn't take, it's not hard to get it out here. It's just a good system. So uh, we'll probably put out two or three more and uh, make sure just water is evenly distributed throughout this property. So join us next week for another episode of Cabela's Wildlife and Land Management Web Show.